Hi, my name is Joseph Hammond. I'm a professional illustrator. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you on how I determine whether the painting is done or not. Okay, so the first thing I do is I look at the drawing. Now, if there isn't any obvious problems, like, you know, the eyes are one's bigger than the other or smaller than the other, uh, what I do is I get out my uh, handheld mirror. Now, this is probably your most important tool that you have. It'll determine whether or not, um, you know, if there's any kind of drawing problems at all. It uh, reverses the image and actually takes you about twice as far back from the piece. And uh, you'll be really surprised at how much you see that you didn't see before. So uh, use this mirror. It's, uh, you should use it probably about every 15 to 30 minutes during the whole drawing process. Uh, it'll keep you from uh, having any drawing problems at the very end of the piece. So uh, now that I look at the mirror and everything looks good, what next? Okay, I go out and I look at my edges. Okay, the edges, uh, most of your edges are going to be soft, about 95% soft, maybe about 5% hard. Okay. Uh, anything, uh, if you get too many hard edges, it's going to end up looking more like a cartoon and not a realistic drawing. And that's what you're trying to get here is a more of a realistic drawing. And so to do that, you have to have most of your edges soft. Okay, so your hard edges are going to be on areas like uh, where your eyelashes on your, the opening of your eyes there or the opening of your nostrils, or the edge where uh, your opening of your mouth. Now the edges like on the side of your face there, you would probably want it to be a little bit softer because you want the softer edges recede, harder edges come forward. Okay, so you want to make sure that side of the face is receding back and things like your eyes and your nose and your mouth is coming forward. That gives it a little bit more of a three-dimensional feeling. Okay, so now my edges look all good. I mean, most of them are soft and the hard edges where I want them are hard. So what next is the values? What is a value? A value is uh, you have your black and you have your white. Everything in between is a gray scale. Okay, this is called the value scale. Okay, when you uh, start a drawing, I'd like to start with the darkest area and then my lightest area. And then you can play off of those two areas. You can make a decision on, is it dark, lighter than this, or is it darker than this? And it, it makes it just a little bit more simpler. When you start breaking down things like that and uh, uh, organizing the drawing itself, it, it seems to make it easier for me. Uh, otherwise, I'm just juggling too many different things at one time. So. I look at the values uh, and uh, what you want to always do is you work from shape to shape okay, in your values. So you start with your darkest value, you go to your middle value, and you go to your light values. And then at the very end you put your highlight on. Now that creates volume. Okay? You want to do that with every shape you work. When you draw or paint, you paint from shape to shape. Okay, that creates volume. Uh, and your, your painting will look much more three-dimensional rather than just a flat surface. Okay, so now we got the values down. And so the very last thing I look at is my color. So what uh, determines the colors here? Uh, the light does. Okay, what kind of light source do I have here? And this is a very cool light source. It's coming from some reflected light source. And when you have a cool light source like this, you're going to have a very warm shadow shape. And I think it creates some really beautiful colors within the shadow. The purples and the reds and, you know, the blues and the greens all are in your shadow shape there because of the fact that you have a cool light source. Okay, so what you're looking at here is, is that working? I mean, does this look like I have a cool light source? And uh, is my you know, shadow shapes warm enough? And what you want to also have is you want to have the warmest area is going to be on the 
the break where the shadow is starting to curve into the light and you hit that with a cool a warmer area and then you have the cools and that, that's really a beautiful combination between your lights a warms and your cools that's uh what you look for is that certain areas are cool and certain areas are warm uh, i don't when i paint or draw i don't really look at uh, okay do i have enough uh you know red or green what i look for is the temperature do i look at i want to see the warm areas and the cooler areas and then i can determine what colors to put in there uh, by the temperature okay so now everything looks good uh, i've determined that uh, my colors are good my values are good my edges are good and my drawing is good okay so that is how i determine whether or not uh, the painting is done. If all those things uh, look finished, then your painting is probably finished. Uh, and I make a decision at this point to quit because if I don't, I'll keep working on this thing forever and I'll just end up destroying it. <laughs> you just work it to death. So, you know, after all those things uh, are determined, I stop and I make a decision on this is done. And so uh, I hope that's helped you out. Uh, I hope you uh, liked the video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.